Remember, it takes action to be inspired, which keeps the motivation to achieve your greatness. Let's get it started. Hey, y'all know who it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Two Ham, a.k.a. Freddy the Philosopher, and I'm right back at you with another fire topic today. So, today's topic is about stop posting every single thing you do to social media, all right? By the way, if these are the type of topics you like hearing about, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I come at you every single day with another fire topic to help you continue to grow into your best self on this journey to greatness. Now, let's get right back into this topic. So, stop posting every single thing to social media. Like, this is the thing about social media, okay? When you get to a point that you allow social media, because because this is why most people do it. Some people say they post everything there to hold them accountable, right? But let's be honest. The real reason why you post it on there is because it's comparison. You want to show people, oh, this is what I do. This is who I am, right? But you know what comparison is? Comparison is the thief of all joy, okay? I'm gonna repeat that again. Comparison is the thief to all joy. When you watching yourself and you comparing yourself to other people, like at the end of the day, you're never gonna be happy because you're not focused on who you are. And at the end of the day, now it's a little bit further into the video, but I'm gonna hit throw this out right now. At the end of the day, that work you put in in the dark is gonna show in the light when that time comes. You know what I mean? Like, with that being said, it's like, try a friend, right? Who, she would post her entire, like, big time personal trainer too. Post every single thing she did throughout the day. Like, every, her meals, her laughs, her chilling, her everything, right? And one day I messaged her and was like, hey, listen, how everything with you? Man, it's miserable, but you know, I gotta hold this front up to social media to make sure everything is doing good. And I was like, well, why don't you just stop posting? Just chill. Well, if I stop posting, people will know the truth and people are this and people are this. And I'm like, well, you lying to yourself. And at some point, like all that's going like come to light. But I say, hey, do your thing. I never, I'm just, was just stating my opinion, trying to see if I could help. But I, I know you got it, bet you got it. So, you know, speed the story up. Months later down the road, she just stopped posting. Then she ended up posting a video like, hey, I just been going through a lot of life, been crazy. You know, I was in an abusive relationship this whole time and this, 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 and this, this, this. And I'm sitting there like, this is exactly what I meant. Like you wouldn't have had to do all this explaining and all this other stuff and all this lying to people where now you're not even posting no more because of the point that you just was lying about everything that you was doing. Like, and you was lying about how you was feeling in your mood and you being great and all this other stuff. Look. When y'all working on some ish and you working on your dreams, man, when you post that stuff to social media, you allow other people's energy into your life. And I get that you always gonna have haters and you always gonna have people that support you. That's just how life is. It's, it's not gonna change. If people listen to my videos, man, I have people tell me, man, you ain't really that positive, man. You really don't work on yourself and all this other stuff. Listen, that ain't got nothing to do with me. Like at the end of the day, I know who I am. I believe in myself. I believe in where I'm going. And so I continue to do what I do, right? But a lot of times, I, but I don't post anything I do behind closed doors most of the time. Like if I post a pic at the gym, it might be once a week. If I post a workout, it might be once a week. It's not what I do. I'm only gonna post my quote of the day, like which is just what I like to do on my social media. I post my one quote a day to just, you know, something that was on my mind, something to just, you know, maybe it'll trigger somebody to turn around and have them even reach over to my page, my uh, YouTube channel to be like, hey, let me, this, this dude actually on point. Let me see like if I can learn a little bit something from something from him. So yeah, first thing is y'all allowing too much energy into your life, man. When you allow all this energy into your life, most of the time it's more negative than positive because this world we live in is a negative type of world. And you allowing all that negative energy into your life, you allowing, you know, those, and I call them falsified endorphin boost, okay? So most people live on social media because they need that dopamine and that endorphin boost, those likes, like in those comments and stuff, they do something to them. People watching their story and comment and do something to them, it get them a, a sense of relevance, it gives them a sense of validation. And so they need that to survive, but I call that false endorphin boost, false dopamine because it's not real. Like what people don't understand is like uh, in most cases, especially when you first start out and you're trying to build up to your successful point, like people are hating, you know? They actually don't want you to succeed. It's when you succeed that you see everybody come out the woodworks and they show all the support for you about how they always knew you could be great. They always knew you was gonna achieve all your dreams. So since that's the only point that matter anyway, why not? just stay behind closed doors the whole time just grind work on your dream and then just pop out at the end with all success 
Because at the end of the day, that's all people waiting for is the success. Nobody really cares about the grind. Nobody cares about the process. Nobody cares what you gotta go through to get to that point. They just wanna see the ribbons, you feel me? They just wanna be be at the celebration to say that they was part of it, that they was with that grind with you, like that they liked your pitch, you know? None of that mean anything. So like, with that being said, social media will ruin everything who you are and what you work on and all of that, all right? Like it'll keep you trapped. Think about how many times have you sat on your social media all day, you wake up social media, you messaging people that don't even, that ain't message you in weeks just to get some type of boost back. Like you always looking for some type of feedback. You even start making up stuff. Oh, I'm, I'm creating a trend. Oh, I got to keep these messages alive. Oh, I got to do this. I got to do this. Like all these things are just fabricated in your mind, like that you've just built up to give yourself a reason to keep always logging on, to keep always getting that quick dopamine boost, but you're unhappy in real life. I mean, are you there? Is that you right now? Really be serious with yourself. Is that you right now? Do you got so much love on there, but you unhappy with your own life? Oh, what does that mean? That means it's time to work. And that means it's time to work seriously behind closed doors where nobody can see. When you start reading books, when you start tuning into my channel, checking out my other videos, like looking at other motivationals, like to keep you on point. Like this is when it's time to work. This is when it's time to grind for yourself. Because at the end of the day, you can lie to everybody that you want, okay? But you can't lie to yourself. You can keep telling people, I'm comfortable, I'm happy, I'm, I'm good where I'm at, but you're just lying. Like, and your lies is literally just creating a poison inside of you that's destroying you from the inside. So why not decide, hey man, I need an antidote. And social media not the answer. Let me just, unless you're getting paid from it. Let me throw that out there. If you're getting paid from social media, that's a total different reason to post versus when you're posting for dopamine boost, all right? Endorphin boost, like let's throw that out there. Major difference, okay? So like, if it don't actually benefit you in your life or financially, then like you gotta learn to take a relax back from it. Let me tell y'all something I did. Best thing I ever did. So I realized I was living on social media too much back when I lived in DC. One day I'm gonna tell you about my journey from DC to Cali. And I remember I was logging on there like every day. So I peeped that iPhone had this thing called a screen time. So I put a 30 minute screen timer on my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter. Put on a 30 minute timer. When the timer goes up, you have the option to put in your passcode to unlock the app again. So it ain't like it's locked indefinitely. But what I noticed was there was times where I was chilling and I would just, uh, brain would just open phone, go right to the app, click inside my folder, go right to the app. And I was like, whoa, that's weird. I didn't even think about that, but subconsciously I went there because that's where I go to waste my time at, right? But I'm like, but I'm still trying to learn Spanish, but I'm still trying to learn real estate, but I'm still trying to learn investments. Why am I not going and trying to research these things? Why am I not trying to do things to build up myself? I'm still trying to, you know, build up my happiness. Why am I not doing that? And that is when my first red flag happened. And I acknowledge all red flags. I don't ignore them, that I was living on there too much. So I completely logged out of them, right? To get myself back on point. Like stayed off there for about seven months, got my life on point, man. Let me tell y'all, taking that energy away, and I noticed I was comparing myself a lot to other people, being like, oh, okay, yeah, okay, I see how they doing, that's what's up, that's what's up. Like my whole energy was just wrong, all right? Now if I go on there, I'm happy for people, man. I'm glad to see what I see, because the end of that worked on me. Like I figured out who I was, so. Stop posting just everything you do. Some of y'all be posting y'all workouts, it's your first time back at the gym, and then like two weeks later, you don't post no more that you at the gym, and then your next post is talking about how you back again. How, how you back two times in the same month? You can't, no, you just stopped going. You was bull jiving. Like, see, I, you see, I watch my curse words. Yeah, but you just stop, you lying. Like, and that's the thing about owning your story, you're just lying, and now you, you get in a relationship. You post this dude, oh, I'm so in love, this is this, now you break up with him, now you in love again a month later. Just chill, you don't need to post that. Like now I'm like, how many times you've been in love with that? Now don't get me wrong, I'm more of an introspective thinker, so I understand, oh, okay, so your lack of self-worth is the reason why you keep going from relationship to relationship because you're looking for other people to love you the way you don't love yourself. But that's that's neither in here nor there. That's, I, I think, totally different. That's just how I process things. But yeah, man, listen, you don't owe nobody anything. And, and to be honest with you, most people don't care. The only thing people care about, the only thing you should care about is success for yourself and your life. And you actually being happy with your life and with your, whatever you're trying to achieve in it. And social media is not the answer. If you can't log off right now because you don't care about yourself that much, put a sleep timer, not sleep, put your timer on it. Give yourself an hour each day. You feel me? Like give yourself an hour on every single app each day. That's three hours of your life you're wasting. But 
Give yourself that time and you gonna notice like damn even once this hour ended I'm back on there again again and you notice it becomes a problem It's a habit something you need to break because what you like what you should be doing is working on what you actually Would actually improve you as a person. All right so, with that being said, man, make, oh, by the way, man, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure that subscribe button. We rocking. Journey to greatness, we growing. We making things happen. So, with that being said, man, keep everything you do in the dark, all right? Keep working on you behind closed doors and just pop out when you are to where you want to be. And then, guess what? Go back in the cut again. Don't pop out. Keep showing success and success because then what happens you're gonna fall right back into that trap of posting 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 go right back in the cut and then come back out with more success that's how you make things happen man and when you finally where you want to be now you can decide to indulge because your brain ain't even there no more now it's all money now it's all business you'll get to that point and with that being said man make sure you hit that like button make sure to subscribe button and two ham is out